moving from earthly duties to a fabulous afterlife. After successfully bending it like Beckham, Gurinder Chatta is ready to believe in a wonderful afterlife. And why shouldn't she? After all, she's got ace actress Shabana Azmi backing her up. Shabana, in It's a Wonderful Afterlife, you're playing an overweight Punjabi mother who's desperate to get her equally overweight daughter married. Now, this doesn't sound anything like you or <laughs> any other God. role you've ever played. So how did you prepare to be Mrs. Sethi? Gurinder Chadda. See, It's a Wonderful Afterlife is a brand Gurinder Chadda film, okay? So when I received the uh, script and I read it, I had no idea how to play it whatsoever. I mean, I was delighted that it was the pivotal role, but I had no idea. And I remember calling uh, Gurinder and saying, listen, um, you will have to lead me by the finger because I have no idea how to play it. And she was very cool and she said, don't worry, it'll be fine. And of course, what she did ask is that, you know, you need to put on weight, which delighted the core of my being because after being in films constantly when I'm asked to lose weight it was delightful to have an official reason for putting on weight and I said that I'll do in a jiffy and so of course I had to put on those 25 pounds but apart from that what she did do is when I went to uh, London she took me with her to um, baby showers in her family and there were several hundred Mrs. Sethi's there and it was the externals that had to be actually captured. But what for me has been a very rewarding experience in It's a Wonderful Afterlife is, you know, you know that in personal life, I don't obsess about my daughter getting married, right? I think it to each her own. And to find Mrs. Sethi and actually understand how far a mother would go to actually let her daughter experience the rites of passage that she has enjoyed with her husband. You know, it had to ring true through all the comedy and all the wackiness and all the madness. It had to ring true. The and emotions have to be The real. emotional stuff had to be taken. In fact, that's the. Re I, I did ask Gurinder. I said, it's a strange choice. Why are you taking me in uh, the film? And she said, um, are you fishing for compliments? I said, no, I'm saying it really sincerely. Why me? And then she said, that, you know, the character also needed to have a certain amount of soft, softness and an emotional core. And I think that comes across very well in the film.